Completely. Because the thing is, is that when when you go for something full force, if it's a dream or if it's something that's pure, if it's something artistic, nothing but good is going to come out of that. Correct. Nothing but good. Like, even if it's just the people you meet or the situations you get to surround yourself with, Mm -hmm. it's always going to be good. Always. I definitely agree with you on that one. Mm -hmm. It always it always is. That's why I. That's why I'm so passionate about it. I, 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 I would love for people to know that and, and experience that in this lifetime because I really think it would, it would change a lot of things. It would change the way people look at each other. It would change the way people even look at themselves, you know? Right. Because especially, too, you're talking about music. Besides math and numbers, that's the most universal language all of all yep. done that's it you know and i think too with music you get to touch so many lives and and because of the emotions you hit and you hit a core in people um that you know because it's art and it and it it hits home but I, I, ooh, I don't know why people think like that, that think opposite of that. I just really don't know. Right. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully one day I, people I, I have a better understanding of that. Hopefully one day. I hope so. And I would love, honestly, if with my music, I would love if people could look at me and just know that, you know, opportunities are, are boundless that, you know, dreams come true. And yeah, honestly, six months ago, if you would have told me that my music career would happen in the Asian and European markets, I would I would honestly have been like, wow, really? Mm-hmm. That would be so dope. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I get to travel outside of America and I get to eat different foods. I get to meet different people. I get mm-hmm. to experience different cultures. Mm-hmm. Like I, I geek out on that instance. That's why honestly, I'm. I, that makes me even more excited that, you know, I get to break off in that market first because I get to experience different cultures and different forms of life, mm-hmm. you know, that I, I might not get to experience in America, you know, fully like I would all over the world. I love that. I, that's, I would say that's the hugest blessing out of all of this. I totally agree with you. Like your journey is kind of, sounds like what we've been through because we've done this, sh- our show is about to uh, complete two years next month. And it's two years, two years already. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like forever. But it, it's, it's, the journeys are kind of the same because if you would have told me two years ago, yeah, you're going to be doing a show about Asian culture and music and entertainment and you're going to have all these really cool people on and you're going to have this fan base, I would have been like, yeah, okay, mm-hmm. sure. But you, Yeah, you would have been like, yes, and... Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, okay. Sure. Boom. But you just Boom. never know. Crazy. Is she taking her meds? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never do. <laughs> but yeah, you just never know what what's gonna Please happen sure as long as you do it. Taking her medicine. <laughs> no, it's better when I'm off meds. <laughs> it's lousier that way. <laughs> but yeah, that, that that's I great love it. though. Push the pedal to the metal. No meds. <laughs> no meds. <laughs> All right, we've got more questions from the fans here. So let's let, let's let's get let's get a little lousy. Let's, you know, let's go have a little fun with it. Um, let's go have a little fun. But why was I thinking of that Waka Flocka song, No Hands, when you just said oh, No Man? Oh, man. That is a jam. No Man. That is a jam. Me and Waka Flocka, we're not on good terms right now. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Sam. Whatever. <laughs> that is a jam. Waka, Waka Flocka, Gee, Soldier Boy, yes. can go to the side for me. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, we just made the Waka Flocka remix. No meds. No meds. <laughs> Look, Ma, no meds. No meds. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we'll do the remix. It'll be out on next week's show. <laughs> I love it. 
It would be so Miami, too. We have to have it so Miami. You know what I mean? Oh. With the music with that? No doubt. <laughs> oh, my God. Dirty South type Dang of it. music. Trust me, oh. we know. Dirty South the fullest. I love that. We'll Ooh, get Rick Ross on the remix. I hear it down remix. on my head. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Rick Ross Walk and Pitbull on, on the remix. listening to Asian Pop Addict, we have your <laughs> remix to no hands. Please get in contact with everybody involved, and we'll hook that up for you. Thank you very yeah. much. Man, that would be interesting as hell. If he ever was listening God. to the show, <laughs> I'd be like, "Really? All right." Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> I mean, how did Waka Flocka get brought up at Asian Pop Attic? I want to know I'm, that. I, I must be on nomads too. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day if I ever get an email from Waka's people. Like, yeah, he wants to collaborate. I'm like, what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> That'll OMG be interesting. Has, you don't call me, I would be so hurt. <laughs> you'll be the you'll be the first one I tweet or email. But like, girl, he's Wait a ready. Minute. I I produced the track. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you'll be the first I let know. <laughs> All right, we have another question. Uh, she left no name, so I'm just going to say this is from a JYJ fan. Um, she wants to. Oh, geez. is this a hateful question? No, it's she not. Want no, 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 it's not a hateful oh. question. She actually said a lot of nice things. She wants to thank you for you know being so open and connecting with all the fans. She said a lot, of, a lot of nice things to, for you uh, in the v- email. Oh, wow. She unfortunately did not leave her name, so I'm just going to say she's a JYJ fan. <laughs> um, she Hi, wants. Jay- <laughs> <laughs> she wants to know um as far as you know do you know of any plans of the boys heading over to europe because all the europe fans are over there complaining what about us i don't know of anything i i would hope so just because um i think honestly uh them dancing uh with american dancers we've opened their eyes to the fact that they have fans all over the world, mm-hmm. like internationally, uh, even even just with, you know, me sharing um, some of the um, countries that my Twitter followers are in, you know, with them and telling them like, wow, they're, it's international, it's everywhere. It's even places where I had never heard of before. And me and my dad Googled to be like, where's that? Which place? Um, like what? But I write down uh, the places where my Twitter followers are from. And I was I was sharing with the boys, you know, just how international they, they are and how the love for them is spread all over the world. Uh, Qatar. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Is that like a, oh, yeah. I've heard about Qatar before. I mean, <laughs> you're so late. You just found out that's about a, That's our, our resident party. Oh my God! Qatar. No, we have We have a re- we have a resident bookworm in the building. Yeah. So if she nods her head and she knows, then okay. So she was. Oh yeah. I She's like, Qatar. oh yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the mumble in the background. Like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how do you not know where that is? <laughs> Yeah, she knows. You know, you know Qatar, right? I mean, it like has oil, and it's like, what are you talking about, Tale? <laughs> um, yeah, those two, <laughs> those two places. Mm-hmm. Literally at Christmas, me and my dad, we were on Google, like, because I told him I was like, Dad, I think I'm followed by over 42 countries, and he was like, You're kidding. This is when my dad started following me on, you know looking at my my tweets and stuff right and i was like no seriously and because i i um was sharing with the boys like you guys i don't you guys aren't going to believe this like literally i can name all 42 of the countries Mm -hmm. that i have gained fans from because of you guys and they were like what i was like yeah international like complete worldwide fandom a lot of people can't say that i mean i'm sure a lot of people don't have fans in qatar and that's kind of <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah I, I i don't think we do so hey <laughs> one up for you <laughs> well, well no i'm just saying from here on out you have fans in qatar i mean that's kind of, that's awesome to, to know that's crazy yeah and and to be a part of that but i and and even just being 
just being in that realm and knowing that all, all over the world people you have fans i i know for sure if anything they have to go to europe they have to i mean they have to i really think that they should have shows jyj honestly could have world a worldwide tour and mean that literally you know a lot of times tours say that they're worldwide just because you touch base in the u.s or you touched you know uh somewhere else but it's not worldwide honestly, <laughs> right but I, I i truly believe they would be one of very few acts that could have a worldwide tour and sell out i agree seriously i I really do. I hope we get to go to Europe. I, I want to go everywhere with these boys. Just tell me my itinerary and I'm there. Give me my flight and I'm, I'm gone. Just let me know where we're going. I would love to do that. Just do Especially me- to, to just experience that with them. and Because they've been to Europe before and, and they love it. Yeah, That would be just the cherry on top to get to go. To other places in the world with them. I mean, I was jealous, honestly, when um, the U.S. dancers didn't get to go to some of the shows back in April. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, April and March. I was so jealous because I honestly, I, I was I was thinking, have the Korean dancers come to the U.S. and have us go to Asia. <laughs> hey, why not? You know, yeah. I, I was like, it should be an exchange program because... <laughs> They've been there. I haven't. I want to go to those places, you know? So have them come here and go to Canada and the U.S. market. I want to go all over Asia. But I, I, that would be amazing if, if they were to go to Europe. But I don't know of anything that's in the works or anything planned. But that would be cool. Let me know. I'm, I'm on board. Just do us a favor because... Um... Yeah, anytime any artist from Asia comes over to the U.S. for, you know, a few stops here and there to do concerts and whatnot, they always seem to neglect the southeast portion of the state. <laughs> um, if you can, just slide in a little, wor- a little word into, you know, the boys and be like, hey, you have fans in the southeast yeah. portion of the United <laughs> States who would love to see love you to see around you. there somewhere. So, I mean, yeah. somewhere, <laughs> and I, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Please do, please do, please do. We'll love you forever and ever. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if, if I get these tickets to Hedwig, then you know, I'll think about it. But Girl, listen, I, I, I've been in- <laughs> Listen, I got some Korean connects. I will hook, I will find out, and I will let you know. As long as you make a Miami stop happen. At least Atlanta. At least Atlanta. Look, quickly, because the show is yesterday and his last performance is on Saturday. I mean, no, Friday. So quickly, I I need to have a quick play. Listen, I'll I'll call him right now. I'll call him. Awesome. I'm on board. And Mickey would have so much fun down here. Oh, hell yeah, he would. all these Latinas, all all up and down the South East. Oh, yeah. All the Cuban looking Kim Kardashians. Oh, they'd be all, he'd be all over it. I'm telling you. South Beach. So he'd be all over the the Cuban Kardashians. Yeah, we know. Trust me. We know. Oh, Why do I keep hearing songs in my head during during this interview? I'm, I'm hearing all the girls in the line at the bathroom. <laughs> oh, for right. Hey, that's one of my jams. I love that. Oh, I like I, it's the theme song every time. <laughs> we, hey, that's that's how we roll around here. All right. I love it. All right, we've got another question from uh, Miwa. She wants to know: Do you listen to? Have you heard any of? Uh, JYJ's uh, other songs uh, prior to them forming the trio JYJ. Have you heard any of their previous songs? Uh, yes. I uh, when I first got the job, hired on, I did some research. I googled the boys and uh, came across uh, DBSK, um, and also heard some of some of the JYJ songs as well. Um, I even found out about DBSK from June. I, I, cause I, I, like I said before, I, I was new to the whole K-pop scene, and when uh, uh, we were riding around Seoul, he was playing this track. It was um, "Wrong Number," oh. and I lost <laughs> my marbles. Love I lost song. my marbles. I was like, "What is that?" 
It's a jam. And he was like, oh my gosh, how it comes on? And his and he him singing in the first verse? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. You could, if you could see my Mick face right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, what is that? Have you seen the video? And he was, girl. I, I just want to make sure. Girl. I just want to make sure. I just want 